as I was saying and before I was so rudely interrupted by man-made items here at Bash Visuals, we get our people in tip-top shape. Take Felicia Morgan over there, who's getting ready for an awesome uh, running scene. All right, and we're not only, you see she's doing her cardio, dancing, looking good over there, gorgeous, looking good, look great, you're looking great. All right, you know, you know, all that. You know, check it out. Check out the jump rope, look at her go. It's great, look at her, she's great. Now look at me, I'm even better. So, <laughs> this is super like, behind the scenes. Proud of it. I'm ready, how are you? I know I'm not ready yet. Just keep jump roping. All right, let's begin the show. Let's start a film, let's make a film. Just say action, bro. All right, <laughs> you. All right, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right, roll camera. Um, scene 15, take six. Happy and conflicted. Happy and conflicted. Action. I don't believe you like need to have an ego to make it. I think you just really have to have a drive. At the end of the day, like you have to have the drive. You have to have the will. I mean, don't get me wrong. The ego can help enhance the drive if you use it properly. The ego can help to remind you who you are and you know, you know what you're aiming for at times. But more, more so, the drive will remind you what you're aiming for. But the ego will remind you. Who you are. Roll camera. Roll car. Car scene B. Take one. Action. So I think the the ego helps uh, to a, to an extent, but it's not necessarily needed because at the end of the day, what's really needed is the effort. You know what is an ego with no effort. You know, it's just arrogance. Effort must go with the ego if you wanna make it. The journey to success is a long road and it's a lonely road. I find myself on that road a lot. I've been finding myself on that road for the past few years. Finding my calling, yet not having the proper backing. Sometimes all you need is God. I mean, all the time, all you need is God to back you. You need yourself. But on this planet, you also need those external tools, resources, co-signers. It's about who you know, not just what you know. I get sad and, and, and stagnant sometimes because I don't know many people. I'm such a people person, yet I'm not connected with the people that I need to be connected with. The people that see me, the people that have the funds the people that can financially support my dreams. And yet when I wanna go out for jobs and all that type of stuff, it's the, the journey again gets longer and longer. It's I'm not qualified enough or overqualified. It's, it's hard to get money now for me, but I have to figure out a hustle. I have to continue to invest in myself. I have to continue to bet on myself and I know it's it's not always going to be the easiest journey but I also know anything worth having will not come easy and the fact is I'm shaking the ground I'm disrupting the system I'm doing things much much differently than my ancestors and my family members have done 
I'm breaking the rules. Because the rules need to be changed. Yeah, who wears white socks anymore? <laughs> Me, Supreme, all right? I'm like Jerry Seinfeld with the white kicks. You know what I'm saying? It's Poppy Chulo, you know what I'm saying? You know the vibes. Hey, yo, let me tell you something right now, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's Bash of Visuals, Blanco up in here, you know what I'm saying? Jay Breezy, Jay Blanco, whatever you want to call me. You know, Jay Bash, you know what I'm saying? Jay Boosie, you know what I'm saying? You know how it goes. Damn. You know, we out here doing it big, doing it a lot, doing it gut, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> If you zoom in, can you like zoom in on this? Oh my god, I'm blurry. Here, let's see. Thank you. Focus. Thank you. 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 Thank <laughs> oh yeah, what's one of his songs again? Um, alright, so... Oh yeah, nah. Now zoom out to Janet's face. Wait, give us a smile, give us a smile. No, him. No, we need teeth. Here, let's zoom in real quick. Just a subtle pop row. Yeah. He's so dark. <laughs> That's not. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> All right, do that smile again. That's it. That's it. No, just the top. Ah, yeah, this is uh, top you're gonna focus with this one. There you go. All right, now leave it. Focus, and now. I know where to go. Uh -huh. I like nowhere to go. I feel like I don't know. I don't know what to do. All right, Jenna, smile again. Yeah. No, you don't. Oh, 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 oh. why? Why? <laughs> I heard the DMX joke. <laughs> hey, do this to do it. Having fun is a serious feeling. You can be serious and have fun. You can take things seriously while still having a smile on your face. You can take things seriously while still having fun. You don't want to be lazy while having fun. You know, you don't want to keep your eye off the prize while having fun. And for me, I feel like when it comes to art, Art is one of the, you know, funnest things that you can do. You know, making art, creating art is one of the funnest processes you can you can have and you can be a part of. But at the end of the day, you have to take it seriously, especially if you want it to come out beautifully. A lot of, you know, people tend to be lazy when it comes to their art and the art takes a hit for that because it doesn't ever go to its fullest potential because you were lazy while you were having fun. I like to be serious while having fun. Situations will arrive in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebration with the guys. I sacrifice the new and nothing without it. Say But I'ma be alright tonight. You don't have to come. I'm mad though. Thank you. <laughs> so I'ma be alright tonight. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna bring this over here. Give you some edge. Thank you, guys. All right. Now you can take pictures. Uh, if I'm working with a team or a crew, I want to make sure that you know everyone is doing their job but we can crack some jokes in the middle you know we can you know have some fun we can take some you know you know we can take some breaks to focus on other things but we got to be there for the project we got to be there for the art itself so we got to take it seriously you know but that doesn't mean that it has to be stressful that's another thing you know taking something serious doesn't mean that it's stressful either you know just like having fun doesn't mean you have to be lazy we can equate both emotions together. I can have fun and be serious. I can be serious and have fun at the same time. And I'll have even more fun 
you know, once it's done. And then in that form, once it's done, once once it's completed, once I've thoroughly done the job, maybe I can add the laziness to my fun now. It's been Team No Sleep over here. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that as a cry for help. I need some sleeping recommendations because I don't get any sleep. And we're almost done with filming. I've been mic'd up. I've had a camera, um, you know, attached to a car. I feel like I'm the feds on a stakeout. Uh, I feel like I'm breaking out like crazy. Um, and I haven't gotten a proper night's rest since July. So I'm thinking that's because of the film. Hopefully, as soon as this thing is done, I can get on a better sleeping program to where I'm at getting at least six hours, at least. Give me some recommendations. We're almost done filming. I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. I'm out there. It's day whatever at this point. I don't even know. Um, we're getting the final car scenes out of the way. Uh, it's Act 3. We're basically going to be getting Act 3 scenes out of the way. Um, so... I'm really excited for it. I know I don't look excited, but I am. Trust me, this is the face of someone excited. See this face? I'm ecstatic right now. Zoom in on the face. Just see, it. You see how? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Look at that. Get all of that. All right. Zoom out. Thank you. Ecstatic. Stoked. <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. This film. Uh, it's been fun and I'm tired, but then again, I don't get tired. So yeah, um, act three, final scenes, driving scenes, a lot of laughter. And it's just for y'all, from my head, literally from me to you, enjoy. Ask me something, I have to talk ask you something, you have to talk. You gotta give me something here. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> um, tell me about your childhood. Ooh. Well, my childhood was pretty cool. Um, uh, pretty much remember to when I was like maybe four and up, I was a fly ass little kid and you know, I had a really cool pimpish purple coat that I would wear in the wintertime. Pimpish? Yeah, it was pretty dope. Um, I had a big ass head. Um, you can kind of see, right, because of my head and everything like that. But no, nah, it was cool. Um, my mom is awesome. Um, and yeah, my siblings were really cool. Um, How many siblings do you have? I got like... You got like? I have... <laughs> I have three siblings you know include myself it's four so, but yeah i have three siblings and you know yeah we we all grew up uh pretty tight-knit you know it was really cool um my sister only sister and everything like that um she was really cool i'm the youngest i'm a baby okay. um you know but I liked, you know, I have, my mom always used to say I was spoiled, but I don't think so. I think I you was. You probably like, were you know, the baby. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, my brothers were cool. They used to always, like, mess with me and stuff like that, you know, both brothers do and everything like that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I had, I, you know, I was, I was a pretty cool kid. Uh, I'm a Leo, you know, so that's bonus points. What does Leo mean? I don't know. I'm just talking. Yeah, my childhood was really cool. I remember the first girl I fell in love with was a girl named Fantasia, and I was eight years old, and it was just really because she was the first girl I ever saw with weave, and I was like, man, that's f***ing hot. And so I was like, you know. So you like girls with weave? Uh, I don't, actually. But you used to? Uh, yeah. It was very unique to me. 
and I remember I made a whole song about her and everything. And I, oh, I remember walking home from school one day, and I got like one of those little dandelion things. And I was like, she loves me, she loves me not. She you loves remember me. this? I remember this vividly. I was eight years old. Wow. I remember this vividly. Those were Garfield days. That was my uh, school, elementary school that I went to. Um, and then I was also uh, in lust with my substitute teacher in fourth grade. Uh, it just happened perfectly because it was Valentine's Day and our teacher, Miss McGarvin, wasn't around. She, I guess, was doing some Valentine's Day shit with her hubby. And so we had a substitute that was fine as hell. And I was like, yo, what's up? And what's up? She, and, you know, like I gave her a Valentine's Day note and everything like that. And, you know. You had I'm, no idea that she was older than you. Oh, I knew and vividly well she was older than me. Yeah, but I was a, when I taught all my sixth grade students, tried, tried, flirted with me all the time. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, y'all, I'm in my 20s. They didn't get it. I mean, I super liked you, so, like, I mean, so I went for that, right? Super I made it, I made it quite obvious what I wanted, like, that I wanted to get to know you, and I was like, oh, you actually seem sane. And stuff. Sane. Yeah, your these photos. Are good qualities. Yeah, these are good qualities. You had nice photos. I was like, oh, okay. She she takes care of her image. Um, you didn't have any like weird bathroom pics. Um, so I was just kind of like, all right, let me. What's a weird bathroom pic? Um, you know the ones where you're doing it at an angle and yeah, you I'm so see, over this selfie like, generation. Yeah, you I'm know. I mean, you know, to each its own. But yeah, I'm like, over it. I'm an asshole. Got it, got it. <laughs> but yeah, so I've I've dated them all. The selfies, the non-selfies, the no phones, the new phones every week. Dated them all, you know? And when I saw your picture, I was like, all right. No phones, shit, yeah. I gotta talk. Hey man, you know, um, collect calls, visits. But you know, um, I was like, you know, this girl Maria, she seems pretty cool. Seems like she's got a good head on her shoulders. Um, you know, I was like, oh, and she's cute and she likes anime. So I was like, once, once I saw that on your profile, I was like, yo, you like anime. You're like, that was it. Like, that was it. Super like, just to make it very clear. And seeing that we just went on a whole hour long conversation about who's better, Goku or Vegeta, that lets me know right there, like, all right, this was a cool night and everything like that. You know, so okay. I think, you know, I think it was pretty cool tonight. I think you're pretty cool. I think I'm a little bit cooler, but you know, that's cool, right? That's cool, yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's, you know, that's I'm good. not in no competition. You should be. I am. I'm a very competitive person. I'm a competitive person too, but I'm not in competition right now. For oh, what? What oh. am I? What, like, what would I be competing? Um, for my heart. Oh. You know. Kind of but I just super goal. liked you. I just want to see your dog. Oh, oh it's and I wanted uh, food. Remember? Oh, it's always the dog, huh? It's but you've been you've been pretty cool though. I, I think so. You're not superficial or anything else. So. I mean, you've made it this far without seeing the dog, and you're still, you know, kicking it. You know, you could have got your own lift home, and you wanted to ride me. Yeah. Ride share. I mean, you're saving money, so <laughs> I mean, completely because you're not paying for this. But you know, like how much right, money sure. is what it is. You yeah. Know? I think you know, day two. You know, maybe we should split the bill. I don't know. You know? Uh, oh, see, I lost you there. Okay. Yeah, so never mind. I've split what bill? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Contact, pay for the meal, tip 20%? Yeah, she saw that. I mean, she even laughed at your jokes. Bruh, she laughed. Oh, shit. He wants.
wants to kiss me. I can see it. He got those damn kissy eyes. Look at him. I can't tell if he's high, horny, or tired. What's up, Bashers? It's day 887 at this point. I don't know. We've been uh, shooting for months on end, as usual. Um, but we are officially done with all the major scenes. Right now, we're getting the final B-roll shots. We're getting the, the final, the ending parts of me. And, um, you know, it's been amazing. And we're finally going to be done with this. I can finally get out of this outfit. It's a suave outfit and everything, but as you can see, I'm to the point where I don't even want to wear shoes. Um, but we're gonna be done. And after that, we can go straight into post-production. I gotta say, throughout this, yeah, get them, get them toes. Yeah, get them toes. Yeah. Hold on, look at that ankle action. Hold on, back to the ankle action. Hold on, roll it. You see it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, anyway. Um, <laughs> But honestly, in all seriousness, in all seriousness um, I would not be able to do this without any of uh, the any anyone that has helped me uh, in any capacity. I want to say first and foremost a special thank you to you guys. Uh, you know who you are, even you holding the camera. Um, this has been a hell of a journey and it's going to keep on going because it's not done yet. Post-production is up next and I feel like that's going to be awesome because I have more control over that to where I can kind of dictate it more on when we're done. And then after that, it's film festival time. That means I'm coming for your asses, alright? Good luck. It's hard. It's hard being honest in this world. Because sometimes honesty doesn't get you into the door. Sometimes honesty may be what keeps you there, but it ain't what gets you there. Unless you make your own home. I'm trying to make my own home. I'm trying to make my own office. I'm trying to make my own building. Boy, it is hard, but it is going to be worth it in the end. People will remember my name for the greatness. Oh, hey again. Hey, it's okay, come closer. You know, we have spent a lot of time together. You and me, for months, I gotta say, I really enjoyed our time. But all good things must come to an end, unfortunately. No, 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 I know, I know, I know. Don't worry, it's not you, it's me. And it's a wrap! Yay! Mwah!